Hey guys, it's your boy Dave. I'm back with another RC truck vlog. <clears throat> um, in this three-part uh, webisode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make the ultimate RC truck Halloween prank scare vehicle ever. Okay. Um, you gotta bear with me guys I'm like deathly ill I've been deathly ill for a long time I have like all these medical issues and I'm falling apart so I apologize I'm doing the best I can here with what I got which isn't much <sighs> okay guys so anyways building the ultimate Halloween RC vehicle to drive around and scare kids I got special plans this year with this truck uh, I'm going to hire a real driver with a real car and we're gonna follow follow this truck around and um, like try to scare kids and also like I'm gonna try to film it, which is gonna be brutal. So, anyways, <clears throat> I'll show you what I did here. Uh, okay, first thing with building an RC Halloween vehicle is you want to modify it for Halloween specs. Like I try to paint this like gunmetal black and it came out pretty cool. So I, I found this really great plastic. Um, this stuff, it's not great, but it's not bad. Um, it's like, as you can tell, it's like a, some type of Tupperware lid I found in the worthless crap pile. And, uh, it, like, it's not bad. It, you know, it does this crap, you know, sometimes, but it's not bad. So, anyways, I took a bunch of that crap, and I made a new shroud for my engine. Because I just got a boom. I just got a there it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but I got uh, 29, 29 tooth pinion gear in there. I just got, and I'm not sure if it's the right pitch or not. Maybe you can tell me. I'm looking for 48 pitch. Anyways. To use my 29 tooth, I have to uh, move this thing back and also probably make a new one of these with the same plastic because obviously with the massive pinion, it won't fit. Okay, the only the only smaller spur gear I found is um, like uh, 20 bucks. Screw that. I'll make it before I buy that much, spend that much. So anyways, the new shroud, it's not great, but I think it's pretty good. Obviously, it gives the engine more room to breathe and a little bit more better protection. It's good. I made that. Okay. Also with the same plastic, I made this. It is a uh, brand new custom RC Halloween body. I made with that um, tough, tough plastic and um, I managed to crimp it into shape kind of. And as you notice it has a huge hole in it. We'll get to that later. That'll be in part two. It's just part one. So, part one for your Halloween vehicle, you need to make a creepy, make it look creepy, okay? So, I painted this all black. It looks creepy as hell. We'll put it all together. Boom, look at that thing. Sick. It kind of look, I try to make it look like a coffin, kind of. See, it's a coffin. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. It'll also work as, like, it'll help protect my truck. I just crimped all that. That crappy tougher where you know the bucket plastic the cheap crap it's I just uh, crimped it all into place with like huge pliers you know and it was a pain it took me forever and I trimmed and trimmed and trimmed and trimmed and trimmed with these so I got the body how I liked it now that's how I like it it's sweet I already tested it out it works great I'll show you guys how good it works in a minute so this is part one of a three-part series on how I'm building the ultimate RC Halloween vehicle. So happy Halloween, everybody. Peace.
Step one.